So about five years ago, I created my very first tutorial on YouTube and it was on slow motion. Today I'll be teaching you how to do the smooth slow motion effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So today I'll kind of add on to that video and show you guys basic ways that you can use slow motion since I still get a ton of questions on how to properly use it in Final Cut Pro 10. It's a super simple video, but I'll show you guys how I use it in most of my edits. And if you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button so that whenever I post a new video like this one here, you guys will be notified. Okay guys, so let's get right to it. So the most common one that I use the most is called automatic speed, which is located under the retiming options tool. This option automatically adjusts your clip to match the project's frame rate. It'll give you the most ideal speed based off the frame rate that you shot in and the frame rate that you chose for your project. So say for example, you shot in 60 frames per second on your camera and you set your project on Final Cut to 24 frames. By selecting your clip and clicking on automatic speed, it'll adjust and slow it down to 40% speed. So this will still retain the necessary frames so that your clip plays back smoothly. So basically, if you want to know how it was calculated, we took 24 frames and divided it by 60 and then multiplied it by 100 to get the percentage. So if we filmed in 120 frames instead on the camera, we divide the 24 frames by 120 and multiply by 100 to get 20%. So this would be the ideal speed for your clip to play back smoothly on a 24 frame project. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Okay, so in another example, say you wanna slow down your clip to 25% instead. You can do this by going to the retiming options tool and selecting slow and then 25%. So we say you want to use a clip that was shot in 60 frames per second. 25% won't be ideal, but we can still make it work. Every clip will be a little bit different, but depending on the movement in the clip, it should look something like this. There is a way to smooth it out, and that's by adding optical flow. Optical flow basically adds in artificial frames in between the missing frames to smooth out your clips. It won't always look pretty, but in most cases, it does help. So another example is this clip here shot in 24 frames per second. So slowing it down to 25% will make it look really, really choppy. But with optical flow added in, it really smooths it out. But as you can also see in this clip, when there's a lot of movement or drastic movements in the shot, it will look off and still a little bit jittery. So optical flow will help, but it really just depends on the type of clip you're using. So as much as possible, try to use automatic speed so that you can get the best looking slow motion clip for your video. So another way that I like to use slow motion is within a speed ramp. Speed ramping is a technique used to change the speed of your clip from fast to slow or vice versa. So in this clip here, you see it going slow and then fast and then slow again it gives it that nice dramatic look. To do this, you just choose the clip you wanna work with and slow down the speed. I'll use automatic speed to make things easier. Then press R on your keyboard to bring up the range tool. Use this to select the portion that you wanna speed up. I will choose this part right here. Then with that highlighted, go to the retiming options tool and select fast and the amount you wanna speed it up by. So this can be whatever you want. Play around with all the different speeds and see which will look best with your project. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.